Hello and welcome to the video Java Connect to SQLite Database with me Nam Ha Bing from CodeJava.net Through this video I will guide you how to use SQLite Database in Java application with the following details How to download JDBC driver for SQLite How to code a Java program that connects, inserts and retrieves data from SQLite Database with two types of project normal Java project and Maven project and uh, during the coding process, I will show you how to use SQLite 3, a command line tool that is used to manage SQLite databases. But first, let's understand briefly what is SQLite. You know, SQLite is the most used embedded SQL database engine in the world. It doesn't have a separate server process uh, as it runs in the same process of the application. And it is self-contained, serverless, zero configuration, transaction database engine. Uh, and uh, the SQLite file format is stable and cross-platform. And uh, SQLite is small, fast, and reliable. So it is perfect for mobile and embedded applications. And this is the homepage of uh, SQLite, sqlite.org. Now let's head over to the homepage of uh, SQLite at this URL, sqlite.org here. And to use SQLite database in Windows operating system, we need to have a library for SQLite. So click download menu here. And as you can see, SQLite supports various operating systems. And for Windows, we can download the zip archive files for six uh, for 32 bit or 64 bit and uh, command line tools for managing SQLI database here. So here we download the zip file of SQLI for Windows uh, 64 bit and download the SQLI tools for Windows for Windows here. Okay, so we got uh, two zip files here and I move uh, this files to a separate directory SQLite paste here and it check uh, to use the um, SQLite library you need to use the native uh, library for Windows operating system it is the DLL file here as you can see the sqlite3.dll is a library um, file for sqlite on Windows. And you can see the number 3 is a version of sqlite. And to create a uh, database, uh, sqlite database, uh, we uh, can use uh, the command line to sqlite3. So it checks the zip archive file. SQLite tools here and we've got the directory here and uh, in this video I will show you how to use SQLite 3 a command line 2 program that allows uh, programmers to manage SQLite databases and then we open the command prompt and change the current directory to this directory that contains the SQLite Tools. So change the directory in command prompt here and type SQLite 3 and followed by the database name we want to create. For example, I want to create a database name users db. .db. Okay, so we've uh, got uh, into the SQLite command line 2 and uh, we can. Uh, Type a SQL statements to create a new table. Create table users with two columns, name of type Vacha with the length 20 characters, and email of type Vacha with the length 25 characters, for example. Okay, uh, no response. Uh, that means the table has been uh, created successfully, and then we Insert a new row into this table. Insert into users values name is nam. 
uh, mình and email is nam at codejava.net ok and uh, we type the SQL statement select to uh, retrieve the data from the user's table select all rows uh, select asterisk uh, from users and you can see uh, the result is one row uh, with uh, name nam Haming and email here so that's very easy to use the SQLite database you can use the SQLite 3 the command line to in order to create a new database create a new table and insert uh, data to the table and retrieve the data now let's create a new java project in eclipse ide so go to menu file new java project here the project name is uh, sqlite demo I we use uh, Java version 8. Next, finish and create a new Java package. Net dot code Java and create a new main class. SQLite demo. and check this option to create the main method that we launch the program and we can use the JDBC API uh, to uh, connect to SQLite database first we define the JDBC URL for SQLite which is uh, JDBC colon SQLite colon and then the part uh, to the database. So we have created a new uh, SQLite database here in this uh, uh, directory. The SQLite here. If you go to the directory here. You can see the new database users db. This is a SQLite database file got created here. And we want to write a Java program to uh, read uh, data from this database file. So copy this part and paste into the program. So this is the absolute part of the um, SQLite database. Copy the name. The name is users db dot db because we uh, specified uh, the database name uh, user db dot db here. Uh, because uh, SQLite database uh, runs in the same process, so we don't have to use username and password to connect to the database. And then we make a connection. Import the interface connection from the package java.sql. Connection equal driver manager. Get connection with the JDBC URL. And we try catch as an exception. If a uh, uh, SQL exception occur, okay, we print the exception stack chase error connecting to SQLite database. And now, uh, we write some Java code to uh, retrieve data from the user uh, table in the database here. So we declare a string variable for the SQL statement. Select asterisk from users. 
and create a new statement object statement object uh, from the connection connection create statement and then we execute the query execute query for the given uh, SQL SQL statement and uh, this method execute query returns the result set object that contains the re data retrieved uh, from the database so we assign the return object to a result set result yeah and then we use uh, while loop to iterate through each row in the result set y result dot next until the next method uh, returns to indicating that there's more row in the result and then we get the name uh, from the result get a string and followed by the column name uh, name and because we have specified the name the name of um, the column is uh, name here name and email here and we get the email and then we print name and email to the uh, standard output console name plus plus email that's it we are simple java program that connects to sqlite database uh, to connect to this uh, sqlite database file and select all rows from the table users now uh, let's then run this program uh, run run as java application and we got the error error connecting to sql database uh, no suitable driver file for this url that means uh, uh, the, the jdbc driver for sql is missing And I recommend you to use JDBC driver for SQLite uh, from uh, Zero at this URL. So we go to uh, github.com slash uh, Zero slash SQLite. That's JDBC here. This is the home page of the Zero uh, SQLite JDBC. And uh, you can download the jar file or use Maven dependency for this project. I will show you how to use a jar file. So click the download link here to download the jar file for SQLite JDBC driver. Here you see, click here. And uh, we keep so in folder and we copy the jar file into the project directory copy and go open the project directory here here and paste the jar file here okay and in the project we need to configure to add that jar file to the project uh, java build part uh, add jars here and choose the jar file uh, we need to refresh the project so the jar file will be displayed here you see sqlite jdbc add jars yeah okay and uh, as you can see i will show you uh, this uh, sqlite jdbc driver java already includes the native uh, 
library for Windows operating system and as you can see in this uh, in the inside the jar file and a tip directory and you can see it uh, contains the, the builds and the tip libraries for different operating systems and for Windows here both uh, 32 bit and 64 bit and you can see the SQLite jdbc.drl here this is a, a library jar file library um, file of sqlite database so you don't have to use the uh, drl file which i have uh, so new to download in the sqlite directory here here you see this is a uh, library file of SQLite for Windows and in this JDBC driver it already included. Okay, now let's run this program again. Mm, run SQLite demo. And you can see now it prints uh, Namaming and the email here. Yeah, perfect, right? That is exactly the and data I have inserted into the database using SQLite command line tool here. Now let me insert another row. Insert into user values. Uh, for example, Adam. And email is Adam at hotmail.com. Okay. And uh, let's run the Java program again. And you see, this time it uh, brings two rows for two users here, yeah? exactly in uh, the database. And you know, a SQLI uh, database automatically creates a special column called row ID to store the identifiers of each uh, row in the database. So you can select here, yeah, select row ID and asterisk from users and you can see the ids of uh, the rows here one two here so in the java code we can update the sql statement select a row id and uh, asterisk uh, and then we can get the id here mm, integer so with uh, SQLite database, uh, you don't have to create a primary uh, column, identity column, because uh, SQLite database creates that column automatically, and the name is row ID. And we include the value of row ID in the output row ID. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's run the program again. And you can see the IDs of the rows uh, got printed here. One, two. Perfect, right? Now let's use uh, SQLite to, to insert another uh, user. For example, John. And email is John at outlook.com. And now let's run the Java program again, and this time it should print uh, three users. You see, it prints uh, three users Nam, Ming, Adam, and John. And you can see the row ID is printed as well. Yeah, perfect, right? Now I'm going to show you how to create a second uh, project using uh, Maven and how to use uh, SQLite JDBC driver through Maven dependency. So create a new uh, project and choose uh, type of project is Maven here. Check to create a new simple project and group ID net dot 
code java artifact id sqlite demo hmm. sqlite example finish and uh, change the project uh, to use uh, jdk 1.8 and open the Maven uh, project file from that XML here and in order to use uh, SQLite JDBC driver uh, we need to uh, specify Maven dependency and in the GitHub page of Zeria uh, here you can see we have the, the link to Maven here click here And you can see this is a code for the Maven dependency for SQLite JDBC driver. Click here to copy. Copy. And paste here. So this is a dependency for SQLite JDBC uh, via Maven. Okay, save. And Maven automatically downloads the required jar files. Okay, in the Maven dependency section here, you can see the jar file SQLite JDBC here. It's pen and you can see the a native library of SQLite for Windows here, the DLL file here. Okay, now let's write Java code. And this time I will show you how to uh, uh, create a new database uh, from Java program. So create a new class. Uh, name is SQLite. Example. Package net dot code Java. Check here to create the main method. And first, uh, we specify the JDBC URL. JDBC URL is uh, JDBC colon SQLite colon and then the part to the database file name. Now I want to create a new SQLite database in the same directory of uh, the project. So I can use this uh, part the database name is um, for example contacts db dot contacts dot db and we create a new connection driver manager get connection and know that uh, sqlite is a embedded database engine so we don't need to use uh, username and password to connect because it uh, we run in the same process of the application and we write SQL statement to create a new table in this database create table heteros declaration so in, using this way you don't have to use uh, any uh, SQLite command line tool Create table um, contacts with the two columns. The first column is first name Vacha twenty and last name Vacha twenty. So this uh, this is a very simple column, uh, simple table. Okay, and then we execute this SQL statement. Uh, Create a statement object from the connection. Statement equal connection. Create statement. And then we call to execute update. Because execute update because this yeah, SQL statement we create a table in the database. 
and print after um, table created very simple and now uh, let's run this program you see it prints the table created here that means the program has uh, created the table successfully and uh, refresh the project here and you will see refresh open the project directory Hmm. I'm looking for the database file. So you see uh, the database uh, file name contacts got created here. It is in the root of the driver because we, uh, we use the path analysis. So if you, we want to create the database file in the same folder of the uh, application, uh, we remove the forward slash just like this and run the program again. Okay, now let's check the project directory. And you see now this time I, I see the database file, SQLite database file contacts here. And refresh the project, you will see the database file here, contacts.db. And now let's update the SQL statement to insert a new row into the contacts table insert into contacts first name and last name values first name is Ravi and last name is Kuma and uh, for this kind of uh, SQL in such statement, we should check the uh, return value of the execute update uh, statement here. If rows greater than zero, then we print this uh, message A row created and uh, I'll run the program again. You see, it prints a row created, meaning that a new row has been inserted into the table context. And uh, update the SQL statement to select all rows. Select uh, row ID asterisk, meaning all rows from the table context. And now uh, we execute this uh, SQL statement that returns a result set. A result set result equal statement execute query for the given uh, SQL statement. And then we iterate through each uh, row in the result set until the next method returns false. And we get the uh, first name. Result get string. First name is a column name, and uh, last name. Last name and the row ID. Integer in row ID equal uh, result uh, get int and the column name row ID. 
error ID will be uh, generated automatically by SQLite database engine and then we print the output of each row you know, row ID first name and uh, last name that's it and now let's run the program and it should print uh, one uh, row uh, for the user Ravi Kumar you see it prints one is a value of row ID Ravi is a value of first name and Kumar is a value of uh, last name perfect right and we can verify by using uh, SQLite command line too. Now I quit the command line to SQLite first. Press Ctrl C and I type SQLite and uh, followed by the absolute part to the database file in this project. To here I copy the location of the project here. And then the database file name is contacts.db. Okay. Sorry, the name of the program is SQLi3. Okay. Um, uh, in the database. And uh, select row ID and asterisk from the table contacts. You see, it prints uh, Ravi Kuma exactly what we have done in the java program here yeah. uh, perfect right so far you have learned how to use uh, sqlite database in uh, java applications i hope you found this video helpful please help me to grow this channel by clicking the subscribe button and then like comment and share this video thanks for watching